Hey everybody, this is Dana from Imagination Paint and I just wanted to take a few minutes and just show you how to trace um, a picture onto your canvas without using carbon paper. Um, of course, I always like to recommend carbon paper just because it makes things so much easier, but you can totally do it without it as well. And I just wanted to show you how. It's actually really simple um, and really easy. It just takes a little bit of extra time and it can be a little bit messy because you might get some of your pencil on, on the sides of your hands. But um, it is super, super simple though. Anybody can do it. All you're going to need is a, a regular pencil. Just take any kind of pencil that you've got. You may need a pencil sharpener in case it dulls down a little bit while you're doing this. But you're going to take, and I'm just going to show you on, on this um, heart picture today how to do this. But you can do it for any kind of picture that you're, you're trying to do. So all you're going to do is flip it over onto the back. And I've actually already started on it. But what you're going to do is scribble, okay? Everybody can scribble. It's not hard. You're going to scribble from left to right. And you're going to go only where the lines are that you're going to need to trace. So if you have a picture and it has a bunch of white space, either in the middle or on the outside edges of the photo, wherever there's a ton of white, you don't need to worry about it. But otherwise, you're just going to... Just keep scribbling over where you've got all the lines and stuff. And like I said, I'm just going back and forth from left to right. And I'm going to do it on both sides of this, just so you can see how this goes. But like where the heart is, I'm not doing anything around the outside part of the heart because there's nothing there for me to need to trace. So only do what you have to do. So I'm just going down and I'm almost at the bottom. And we're going to keep going down all the way to the end of the heart. And I'm still just going side to side with it. Super simple. Anybody can scribble, even your two-year-old. So this is like the easiest thing that you can ever do. All right, so you see I've got everything from left to right, okay? Now I'm going to go back over it, over the whole thing, and scribble up and down. You could even turn your paper um, to where you don't have to you know, literally try to scribble up and down because that's a lot of work. So even if you just turn your page to where you can just go back and forth again, but it still puts the scribbling in the opposite direction. So as you can see, I'm just making it go in the opposite direction. I think you can see it better right there. And you're just going to keep going all the way down to the bottom. We're almost done. Yeah, this is making my pencil dull, so just watch yours. You may just end up having to sharpen yours a little bit. Maybe not. It might get to the end of it. I think I am going to sharpen mine a little bit, though. I don't want it to get too low. And this just helps to make sure that that graphite covers it really well. This just gets it nice and covered in the graphite. And you just keep scribbling until it's completely scribbled in the opposite direction. Okay, so look, it looks like a big giant blob of scribbles and that's exactly how you want it. Now after you've done that you can actually put, you want to make sure that the back is face and pressed down onto your canvas. So I'm going to do this on a canvas like this. I'm going to center it up exactly how I want it on my canvas. So say I want my heart right here. I'm going to put this down and then I'm going to start tracing over the lines. So remember my pencil markings are on the back side 
of my canvas. That way it will start, it will go on there um, once I start tracing. And so all I'm going to do after that is I start going around the black lines on my page with my pencil and it'll start to trace it back onto the canvas. So I'm actually going to show you, I won't trace the whole thing, I'll just show you what it looks like with just the heart. It's super simple though. And if you wanted to, after this was over with, you can actually go back and, um, and go back over it with like a Sharpie marker. I would not use a washable marker because um, that might kind of smear with the water. Um, acrylic is water based and so we're going to be using water with our brushes and I wouldn't, I just wouldn't recommend a water based marker. But if you use like a Sharpie or something, something that's not going to come off, that um, you can either do a regular size or a fine tip um, just to give you a darker black line to, to you know go on um, but honestly it really doesn't matter um, if you do that or not if you feel like you can see the pencil markings just fine without it keep it like that you know it's not a big deal but this is what it will look like afterwards and you can see on there they're like little faint traced lines but it is on there and that gives you something to go by so um, I hope that that's helpful if you have any questions or comments um, either comment below or just message me and I would be happy to help you and I'm so excited to paint with you thanks so much have a wonderful day